Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And as you can see, I am home from my Mexican Riviera cruise. And I'm coming to you today to kind of give a bit of a cruise report. Although I'm not going to rehash all of the footage and the times that I have put into the videos that I posted while I was on our cruise. Instead, I'm gonna give you my all over thoughts about the cruise and maybe a couple of details here and there and, you know, just kind of give you my impression of this cruise. So, as you guys know, let's get started. So let's just walk right into this. This is not gonna be an all pleasant and light little video. I'm gonna tell you that right up front. So just so you know, uh, there were uh, a couple of things that, uh, you know, couple of hiccups along the way and I'll explain as we go here okay as you know I flew out on whatever day that was whatever the uh, October the 25th October the 25th is the day I flew out and I had stayed up all night because our my flight was at 6 a.m. and I had to travel to Richmond which is about an hour and a half hour and 45 minutes here from our house so, uh, you know, you back up to going through security, yada, yada, yada. And it's just like, I, we mess, I'm, why go to bed? It would just make me, give me a headache and it would give me, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to sleep. So, uh, I got to the airport in plenty of time. I think, believe we pulled in there. I don't know, it was in my video. Y'all saw that. And uh, I breezed through security, y'all. I mean, breezed through, no problem, was at my gate, absolutely no problem. Uh, the flights there, I, the first flight was from Richmond to Denver, and then from Denver, from there, I had a hour and a half layover, I believe, in Denver, and then I went from Denver to LA. I didn't get lost once. <laughs> I flew United and I have their app. I put their app on my phone and they text you if there's been a gate change. They even text you directions, hello, that you can walk along like a GPS and follow, you know. So that's exactly what I did when I got off of the first flight. And I said, well, I had to get on a, a tram or you kind of like their underground train, you know. I had to go find that and then get on that and go to the next whatever it is, terminal over concourse. I never know what that's called, whatever. The next building over to go to where my next gate was going to be. It said it would take me 16 minutes to get there and that's about how long it took me. Actually, it took me a little less than that. I think they buffer that a little bit. <laughs> so I was able to get there and I sat there and got on the next flight that was on time and got into LA. Absolutely no problem. So when I landed in LA, I, Chris had arranged for Carmel Shuttle, K-A-R-M-E-L, Carmel uh, Shuttle, to transport me from LAX to the Best Western Plus San Pedro. Wow, is that ever a nice hotel. You all saw some pictures and I'm gonna, I don't know whether I'll put up a room tour of that or not, but you all saw me walk around the room and you know, some pictures in my video. It was a lovely hotel, highly recommend, a little pricey, but not as bad for those of you who cruise with Princess as the hotels that Princess uses, you know, that you know offer you transports and everything to go along with it, which is what we will normally use, but I didn't wanna use those uh, for this for this journey. Uh, my travel agent had stayed at this hotel and it came highly recommended and boy oh boy was she right. It was lovely. It had a continental breakfast and it was lovely. But anyway, what I needed to do, back to the uh, LAX for a second, I had to text Carmel Shuttles or you can call them either way and have them, let them know that I'm on the ground and I'd collected my luggage and they told me go to where to go to stand exactly. Right out from baggage, for those of you who are familiar with LAX. Uh, and I just, I didn't cross the street to go to a, like an island that they have where some people, where you're picked up from some. I had to stand right there by the doors and buddy, I stood there for, I did, I stood there for probably, 
I'd say a good 15 minutes, every bit of 15 minutes waiting for this gentleman. But once he got there, he said he had to kind of go around a fella. So I just skirted up the sidewalk and met him. He From then on, I didn't touch my suitcase until I got to the hotel and I had to roll it in, of course, to the hotel. But such a nice gentleman, my shuttle driver, great company. I'll flash up all information and put it in the description below if any of you are ever interested in using Carmel, I don't know how to pronounce it, Carmel or Carmel shuttles. It was wonderful. Very, very, very nice. He told fantastic stories. He gave me hints about Cabo San Lucas and Puerto Vallarta and a wonderful gentleman. Wonderful gentleman that I cannot out of my brain what his name was right now but he was phenomenal absolutely phenomenal so then he got me to the hotel traffic is horrendous in la as i'm sure you know and one thing that i noticed in la is they all blow their horns they don't just like toot toot get out of the way or they don't even just a beep, you know hey you're coming in my lane or watch out you know or something like that no they lay on their horns i'm like oh, it's happening you know, and nobody's doing anything wrong. They just blow their horns if they think you might be thinking about moving over into their lane, you know? It's crazy. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I thought Virginia drivers were bad. <laughs> no, they were crazy. But anyway, so he pulled uh, into the Best Western San Pedro, Best Western Plus San Pedro. They have an underground garage, so if you rent a car, uh, there, there is underground parking and they're at the hotel and uh, very easy entrance into ho into the hotel. So I, I happened to pull up and look to my right and there stood Barb's husband, Don. He was standing there getting Barb's sister, Patty's scooter out of their car. And I looked over and I'm like, hello, Don, hello, hello. You know, and he's he stood up and he saw me and he's waving and here comes Barbara running out. And we, oh my goodness, right then and there it began. It was so good to see both of them again. I hadn't seen them since May and I hadn't seen Patty since 2018, you guys. She hadn't seen me since I started losing my weight, you know, and everything. And I'd lost some more. And Barb says, you've lost more weight. And I'm like, I didn't think I lost that much more. And, you know, anyway, it was just uh, like a warm blanket, you know, when you see good, true, honest, and, and, and wonderful friends who would never say a bad word about you. And I would never say a, word about, a bad word about, you know what I mean? Wonderful friends, wonderful friends. And um, Don had driven Patty and Barb to the hotel. And he headed back home after he uh, sat and chatted with us for a while and everything and uh, after we were up in our rooms and whatnot. So anyway, I, you know, walked into the, uh, the hotel lobby and there sat Patty and I ran over and I gave her a big hug too, you know, and just, you know, we just, you just don't let go of somebody right away when you see them again like that. You just don't let go of them. You kind of let that hug linger and you take it in and you feel the feels, you know. It was good. So and then I got myself checked in and made, made an impression with the little lady standing there behind the counter. And Barb said, see, I told you she was nice. <laughs> I never meet a stranger, y'all. I just never do. I never meet a stranger. I love people. I love interacting with people. And, you know, so I had a, I had a good time. Let me say first, I mean, pardon me. I am quite jet lagged and very tired. But I want to do this video while this is fresh in my mind, y'all. Honest to goodness. So please pardon my, my appearance. I, I know I look tired. I'm okay. And for those of you who know, I was sick a day, and I'll get to that. Um, but anyway, I don't want to sit here and talk for a half an hour, 45 minutes about this cruise. Uh, but I did want to tell you about our first meeting. And we, we ended up, as you all knew, you saw in the video, we went to the Queen Mary for lunch. What a beautiful Oh, I love doing that and seeing the Queen Mary and how big and beautiful and majestic she is and walking in those halls and you just, you know, you just kind of felt the, 
the oldness and the history, you know, on that ship. So that was really good. The food was good. I had a Reuben, as you saw in that video. I'll put a link to my three videos in the description. So if you haven't seen them yet, please do take a peek. They're just snippets of the, you know, first couple of days. They one, two, three, four, five, and six. I've got three separate videos. And I encourage you guys just to go take a peek at those. They're not long videos. They're just, you know, just snippets of my time. And as I walk through this, this, you know, my thoughts video, I'm not going to go, I'm going to try not to go into a, a load of detail. Uh, but anyway, we got back to the hotel and, uh, you know, unpacked what we needed to unpack or whatever. Of course, we were only going to be there one night. And, uh, you know, I, I may have been flashing up some pictures of my room, which was absolutely lovely. Uh, and big enough for way more than just me. You know, I had a king size queen or king size bed, a couch, a chair, a desk, another dresser, a big dresser with a TV, a uh, big bathroom with a separate like toilet room and shower. I was, I was just like, where am I? I felt like I was, and it wasn't all that expensive, you guys. I was pretty compared to what I've paid for in the past, you know. And then Barb and Patty got an upgrade and they had, I think, the Empress Suite or something. They had two rooms, one had a fireplace in it. I think I do have some pictures of their room here. Goodness gracious, y'all. It was amazing. It was amazing. Only thing was, so be aware, uh, uh, my room was 40, oh, if I say it wrong, I'll correct myself, 402 and I think theirs was 401 and both were facing the road. Remember those horns I was talking about? You heard a lot of that. Beep, beep, bo, uh, uh, oh, it was crazy. It's crazy. I'm telling you. Thank goodness I was so tired. I didn't. I was. I didn't hear for nothing. Once I went to sleep, you know. So, uh, but anyway, you know, we we did have a little dinner later that night, and I believe this is the place that Barb ran to. This was 69 steps <laughs> away from the hotel. It was. Uh, Ono Hawaiian Barbecue to go menu. And it was delicious. I believe this is where we went. Yes, because we got a couple of mini meals, which includes one scoop of rice, one scoop of mac, uh, mac salad, macaroni salad, and veggies. And it was delicious. And they uh, had like a sweet and sour sauce. Uh, they could just give me the sauce. Thank you very much. Uh, but anyway, if you're ever in California, uh, we don't have these here in Virginia. Do try this out. It's d very tasty, very well priced. Very good. Very, very good. Oh no, Hawaiian barbecue. Excellent. Excellent. So we had that for dinner. And then we just sat and chatted for a long time that evening. We sat and chatted and it was lovely. And it was, I need to turn my battery on here. Sorry, it, somehow it turned off. There we go. Don't need to be turning off. So let's see, after that we went to bed. And then the next morning, uh, the hotel offered a shuttle to the cruise port. Uh, lovely, one of the little girls I met, you know, when I first got there, she was the driver and we had to meet down in the lobby at like 10 o'clock and she collected, well, we rolled our luggage out to her and uh, she collected everything and put it in the back of a, it was like a 15 passenger van, I guess. Oh, I don't know, maybe nine passenger, probably nine passenger. Met a couple from Virginia, as you saw the video. And again, I'm going to point you to that video. And, and you know, you, you'll be able to see us driving through L.A. And, you know, the first look at the, at the Royal Princess and uh, the Iowa battleship sitting right there in the same port. And the Royal Princess snugs up right, right next to, right behind, you know, the Iowa uh, so embarkation, uh, wasn't too bad. I forgot to bring my medallion here. I'll go get it. Uh, but it was not bad. It was a little confusing, uh, because I am a elite with, with princess and I could have gone to a different group, a priority group, whatever, you know, uh, but I ended up going, they let me stay with Pat who was 
uh, in a priority group, the first priority group actually. Uh, they let all uh, folks who are handicapped and who have wheelchairs or scooters or whatever to board first. And so that's the group I was in and I waited. And I had ordered my medallion. For those of you who are with Princess, some of their ships are now medallion class ships. The Royal Princess is a medallion class ship. And a medallion, your medallion, I will go get it here in a second, is you, you saw it on my top, you know, in some of my pictures I've been posting and whatnot. And it, let me go get it so I can show it to you. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, okay, sorry, see, there it is. There's my medallion. Now that I have it in a clip. See this? And let me, there we go. There it is. And it's actually, this is a clip and it, it's a magnet, it's a big magnet. There's how big the medallion is. And that's the sea witch on it. That's uh, Princess's logo. And this is a clip. See that? And you don't have to get a clip. People had necklaces, people had watches, people had lanyards. As you all know, I have worn a lanyard for the last decade. Well, when I'm on a medallion ship moving forward, I'm gonna be wearing this clip. This clip was phenomenal. Sorry, that was my wind spinners blowing out here. I thought somebody was coming to the door. Uh, it was phenomenal. It stays on your clothes like nobody's business. It's not so tight that it's gonna put a crease in your clothes or anything like that, but it's not gonna come off easily. Also, this is a magnet and it just seeds right in there like that and it's not going anywhere, it doesn't fall out. I wore this on my whole excursion off the ship on that cob boat in Cabo, it didn't go anywhere, y'all. It didn't go anywhere. It just, it stayed put. I love it. When you go to the shops, uh, all you have to do is take it off and put it up against a, um, a little machine and it reads your, you know, it reads your, uh, your card and everything you buy on the ship. Y'all know this for those of you who cruise. Uh, go on your ship account uh, where, that you have a credit card attached to and so on and so forth. The medallion, I will say also, if you uh, download the Ocean Ready app, it's not called that. I can't look on my phone because I'm using my phone, but I'll flash it up there and tell you. If you go to the app store, if you are, ha you, you can also go for those of you who are gonna be cruising on a medallion ship, just go to your cruise personalizer with Princess again, go to your cruise personalizer and it walks you through what you need to do. All you need to do is follow the prompts and it will tell you what to do. I will say on board, Barb and I agreed, she has an Android phone and I have an iPhone and my iPhone seemed to work better than her Android. And we think that is because they rolled out the iPhone apps before they rolled out the Android apps and it just Android hiccups just a little bit and I'm sure they're going to work out the kinks y'all. I'm sure I'm not complaining. Barb didn't complain. It's just sometimes we could they have one one of the uh, little perks for it is you can find your shipmates. You can go into one of their little pages and you can find where your shipmates are whether they're in their stateroom or what deck they're on and even what place they're on on the deck. It is nice. It is very, very nice. Your, your stateroom as you're walking up toward it, and if I can put a snippet of a video here, I will. As you're walking towards your stateroom, you'll see they have panels that hang on the wall outside of your stateroom, and your picture will come up, and sometimes it says, hello, Arlen, or it had a little birthday cake, which I Barb saw and I never even saw the day I celebrated my birthday on board next to my name. You know, it just it's just it gives you a bit, little bit, you know, a little bit more of a personal touch. And your door unlocks. Now, I've heard some people say that your door will open. My door did not open. My door just unlocked, and then you can just open your door, you know. It's wonderful. So much easier when you have your hands full and you don't have to fumble with your card and slide your card and blah, blah, blah. No, you walk up and open the, you know, it turns your little, little gives you a little green light and you're good to go and in you go. And you know, it's the door locks behind you. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. So, you know, if you get the chance to cruise on a medallion ship, don't be intimidated. Just take your time, walk through the steps. You can, uh, you know, get in touch with me. 
Uh, personally, if you want, at, a, at uh, arlenccc at gmail.com, and I'd be glad to, you know, talk to you and help you more in private, but I don't want to take up too much more time here. But anyway, that's my medallion, and my medallion is black because I am elite on princess. The medallions do come in the color of your captain circle level. I can't even believe I'm talking about this, but I want you to know. First love was blue, and then after so many cruises, it's gold, and then after so many more cruises, it's ru a ruby color or, you know, kind of a pinky red color, and then after so many more cruises, it's like a platinum color, and then when you get to the top tier or whatever, it's black. I have a black medallion. That's a story for a different day. Anyway, that's about the medallion. So so anyway, that we're, we're on board. Uh, you know, you saw my video. I did want to mention that for those, if I didn't mention in the video, that there's always a dining room open on embarkation day. Please be aware of that. Your princess, it won't say on your medallion if you have a medallion ship because you can look at the daily activities on there. It doesn't say on your medallion which dining room is open on embarkation day, but if you go get a patter from Passenger Services, which is on deck five on the Royal, it will tell you that the Symphony Dining Room was open from noon to 1.30. Is this embarkation day? Yes, embarkation day. Noon to 1.30. I thought it was concerto, but it says here Symphony. I could swear it was concerto. I'm pretty sure it was concerto. I don't know why they have noon to 1.30. Maybe it was symphony. I don't know. Symphony is where we ate every night. So it might have been. Regardless, one of the dining rooms will be open and you'll be able to see where it is because the hordes will be moving toward it. <laughs> you'll be able to just follow the crowd. You'll be able to find it. Uh, a little bit of information about the Royal Princess. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's big. It's beautiful. It's still pretty new. Uh, it is uh, one of the largest, as I said in the video, uh, ships and princesses fleet. And, uh, you know, it, it, the only thing about it that I don't care for, and I care for some of the older, smaller ships, is there's not a lot of outdoor deck space. In other words, the promenade deck, there isn't one, really. There are sections of promenade deck on either side, but there really is not a, a, a promenade deck that you can walk all the way around, even if going upstairs and back downstairs. There's nothing like that. You cannot go walk around that ship, except for if you're up on the top, 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 which is like deck 17, you know, and it is windy up there. They do have a running walking track up there that has walk run on it. You can go up there, but it is windy. Um, so, it is, to be honest, it's not my favorite ship. It is beautiful. My favorite ship is the Coral Princess that I, anybody who ever knows me in, in these, my cruising forums or whatever knows, I am in love with the Coral Princess. I love it. Absolutely my favorite ship ever. But the Royal was beautiful. The crew was phenomenal. The uh, cruise director is Matt O. For those of you who know Matt O, he is phenomenal. He's funny. He's full of energy. Oh my goodness gracious, that fella. He's got more energy than three of me. I'm telling you, he is so kind, so cordial. He takes time for people too, y'all know. I mentioned this to him. This is the second time I met him in person, but you know, uh, because I met him back in 2018 when he was on, when I was on the Royal another time. And, uh, but I noticed him after a line dancing, little line dancing class that he lingered until everybody was done talking to him. And he gave everybody the same energy, the same time of day. He is phenomenal, you guys. Uh, you know, search him out, tell him I said hi, <laughs> if you're gonna be on the Royal. <coughs> So, I, I, I have to give a little commentary about the passengers on the Royal Princess, though. On this particular cruise, on this particular cruise, and this is the only time that I've noticed this much of this type of thing, they were not nice, some of them, y'all. Some of them were downright mean-spirited to the crew. 
not to each other necessarily, but to the crew. And I just think that's wrong. I just think it's wrong and uncalled for and never necessary. Never necessary. That crew works their hearts out on these ships, you guys. They clean, they work, they work on godly hours, they don't get paid a pittance, and they send their money home to their families, you know? So, if you're cruising, I'm not going to harp on this, but if you cruise... Give a, word, give a good word to your steward. Give a good word to a crew member who you see is going above and beyond. Give a word to that crew member who's kneeling on the ground and, 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 and scrubbing a piece of carpet with a brush, which is one thing I saw, you know, or your, your waiter or your, you know, the ladies in the shop. I had one girl that I had mentioned that to. I had mentioned just what I said to you to, and guys, she went to tears right there in front of me she went to tears and i just put my arms out and she came into my into my chest i felt so sorry for her i was like i don't know who who said what to her but she had obviously been given a hard time we are so lucky those of us who are able to cruise we're so lucky and blessed to be able to do it have respect for others have respect for your human being we all put our pants on one leg at a time you know okay enough of that Enough of that. I'm not going to go further on that. So, uh, but anyway, I'm, again, I'm not going to harp a long time. I already talked a half an hour on this, and I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to harp on and on and on. Uh, I did get sick on this cruise, uh, stomach-wise. No, I don't believe it was norovirus. Nobody else was sick around me. I think it was something I ate or a combination of I just ate whatever I wanted for the first few days and y'all know I've been, uh, you know, really, 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 really good on my diet and really, really, really conscious of every little thing I put in my body. And I think my body just went, stop that, Arlen. Stop what you're doing. And it rebelled. And buddy, boy howdy, I was in bed for a day. I also had a fever. So I, I, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was, but I was not throwing up, but the other, you know what I mean? Thank the good Lord, Barb had Imodium that I forgot. And, well, I never took, I've never taken it with me. So I will from now on though, buddy. I don't ever want to be without that again. Oh my Lordy, I was sick. I was so sick. Could not move. Could not move. And as Chris said, you know, he was sick like that one time and laid in the fetal position for, you know, all day. And that's how I felt. That's how I felt, you know. Finally that evening, you know, and there's nothing worse. I didn't want, I did not want Barb and, and Patty coming near me because I was so sick and I didn't want to get it just in case I was contagious. I didn't want them to, you know, get anything. When Barb handed me the emodium, I was like, okay, I put my hand out and I said, now drop them. <laughs> You're close, you know, to my hand. So she dropped them in. Uh, but Lord knows none of us needed to be sick. I was kind of worried because I was Wednesday. I was so sick the Wednesday of my cruise. I was so sick. And I had Thursday and Friday to kind of recover. And I'm still not quite back to, you know, my full full energy here, y'all. So, uh, but that was a little hiccup, you know, that I've really never experienced on a cruise. I've never been sick like that on a cruise. And I, 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 I could have been that I wore myself down too much. I worked too hard before I went. I just was tired. My body just went, nope, you're going to stop for a whole day, girly. You're not moving. So... Uh, but I, anyway, again, I showed you everything that we did. I showed you the, our, our excursion to Cabo San Lucas. It was lovely. <laughs> that was so pretty. And the, that was a fun boat. They had bebop and music playing that whole time. And it was, we met people and it was so much fun. So much fun. I did want to mention a couple of my subscribers that I met. And one I didn't know that I met. <laughs> So, uh, the first one was Kelly Bernabe, and she gave me a beautiful gift, and I forgot to ask her if it was okay if I showed what she got me, and if it is, Kelly, maybe you could comment and tell me, and if so, I'll show it in my, now. I have other videos coming up here, uh, maybe a haul video and a Christmas video coming up. Uh, soon. Anyway, Kelly, I did not want to show what you got me, but would be glad to, and would, um, you know, love to show. It, anyway, I saw her the, on embarkation day and here she comes, Arlen. And oh my goodness, she's very bubbly and her sweet friend is adorable. And we hugged and, 
you know, and said, hey, how you doing? And it's so good to see you and meet you in person. And it was lovely, lovely to meet her. And then the last day on the cruise, uh, the last day I didn't, uh, Tammy Angelsley, you all have seen her. I, actually, I don't know whether I've pronounced your name right, Tammy. Oh my goodness. Uh, I finally, finally ran into her in the bistro up in the Horizon Court there at the buffet for breakfast. Finally met her. And here are some pictures, uh, well, I've showed you of Tammy and here's, or I mean, I've showed you of Kelly and here, here I am with Tammy and sweet, 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 sweet ladies both. I, uh, you know, thank you girls for coming up to me. Thank you for, for, for giving me hugs and for, uh, saying hey and i encourage any of you out and about to do exactly what this other lady i'm fixing to tell you about did I, but anyway we had gone up to the grill and we were getting hot dogs and hamburgers and i turned around and this nice lady goes hey Arlen, is that you that was chris talking <laughs> she said hey Arlen, is that you and i said I said, yeah, I'm Arlen. i said who are you <laughs> and she said my name is sue and i uh found you through Scott Singer, you know, my buddy Scott Singer. She saw me on his uh, Alaska vlogs, and I think she said she started watching me after that and stopped and introduced herself and her hubby, Greg, I wanna say Greg. Oh, I hope I got that right, but I may, I may not have remembered that right. Sweet lady, beautiful lady. I didn't get a picture with her though. So, but anyway, I met her too, and you know, it's and she and she just came up and introduced herself. And please do that if you see me out and about anywhere, if at a craft store around here, on a cruise somewhere in the, around the world, anywhere you see me, please stop, please stop and say hey, you know, give me a hug, we'll chat, we'll have a big time for a minute or two, you know. I love y'all. You know that, you know, and I love meeting people. I love putting faces and and giving hugs. To, to those of you who, who take so much time out of your days to watch me, to listen to me yammer on as I'm doing 33 minutes long here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and spend your time making comments with me. I so much appreciate every one of you, love you, and, and very much, very much would love to meet you in person. So, but that was it. I mean, we had several uh, sea days, which were fun. And we just, you know, we sat around and talked. We did trivia. We did some of the games, as you saw, the Liars Cub. That was fun. The girls went and watched a, a show or two, I believe. I did not. I usually came back to my room after, you know, after dinner and after we did a little shopping and walking around for picture, professional pictures we had taken. And I'll show you a few of those as we're going here. I had the ultimate, ultimate? Uh, photo package which meant that uh, we could go anywhere on this you know anywhere that they had a photo booth set up and get our pictures taken and different poses and different nights and I got I think I brought home 60 I didn't bring them home I gave them all of the hard copy pictures and I brought home like a thumb drive 60 67 pictures I believe that's a lot for three people for three ladies you know so and considering that each picture can cost upwards of $25 or up to $25, Psst. I mean, I like a bandit, you know, we did. So we did that and, you know, we just had a big time. We had a lovely, lovely girlfriend's cruise. And these ladies, even though they are across the country from me, are two of my very, very, very closest, dearest, most loving friends, honestly, you guys, honestly. I would do anything for these ladies. I would do anything for these ladies. And I think they would for me too, if they, you know, if, if I, any of us could, we would, you know, I feel very, very blessed, uh, very blessed to have them in my life. I feel very blessed that their husbands are also in our lives. Uh, we're all going to be cruising again together, uh, next year. And I, I'm, I just feel so lucky. I feel so lucky. Yes, you can make good, sweet, long time friends online. Yes, you can. I've got many, many friends, uh, some of my best friends that I've ever had in my life who, you know, call and check or write and check and make sure everything's going okay. And, you know, I know I'm guilty of not doing that sometimes, you know, and, and it's hard. It's hard to, to keep friendships up and running and healthy and nourished, you know so what I mean? for both of these sweet, 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 sweet ladies. 
So, you know, again, we did, you know, I, I did want to show you this real quick. This is the princess pattern. And again, if you're a medall on a medallion ship, you get pretty much this on your phone, but it doesn't give you quite as much information as the pattern does. So take a gander at your pattern every day, those of you who cruise on Princess. And I think on all cruise lines, there is, it is an informational little sheet that you get every single day, you know? on the, This is embarkation day, so it says prepare to sail on a voyage, onboard highlights, 50% uh, off your medallion net, which was my internet, which was, by the way, for those of you who have one internet, phenomenal. Wow, it was fast, it was great, you know, it was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. But it gives you an hourly breakdown of, you know, the day's events. These are all the, uh, this is the itinerary, and it tells you right here on your very first patter, y'all are always asking me what nights are formal nights and so on and so forth, and it says right on there what nights are formal nights we're at formal nights and so on and so forth we also celebrated halloween on the ship and uh uh you know we didn't dress up so to speak uh but we did dress up in you know uh, barb kind of dressed like a little uh gatsby lady oh she looks so cute and then i was just dressed with you know like a fall you know motif uh scarf and a fascinator in my hair just you know, just a little something to give a nod to Halloween. Y'all know that Halloween's not my necessarily favorite holiday, which is fine, but it was fun to watch all the costumes coming and going. Some were interesting, some were even more interesting, and some were downright scary. <laughs> I was like, Ugh, you know. Uh, but Barb had given me a little witch's hat, pretty cute, a cute witch's hat, to, and she hung it on my door. I had walked out, and there it was, hanging on my door. That's, that's Barb for you. Both of these ladies are so giving, and uh, we did exchange gifts, but I haven't really talked to them to see if it's okay if I say, you know, what they what they gave me or what I gave them. And, you know, that doesn't need to be said here. But just, we, we exchanged gifts and we exchanged hugs and we exchanged conversations and we exchanged many, 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 many things. And we made many, many memories that will be cherished forever. So, um, disembarkation day came. It was the smoothest, I have to say, disembarkation I have ever had, ever. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. They give you a, uh, a sheet of paper. Here it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Right here. The night before disembarkation, or maybe the night before, it was the night before that, like two days before you disembark, they'll give you, especially if you have princess transfers, which I did. I used a princess transfer to get me from the cruise port back to LAX. And they give you an informational sheet of paper. And, you know, it just uh, goes through, you know, the night before disembarking, regular disembarkation process, walk-off express, vacate your stateroom. You have to be out of your stateroom by 8 a.m. in the morning. Wheelchair assistance, you can, you know, arrange for that if you need it. Uh, I could go to a, it says, Captain's uh, Circle Elite Platinum Suite and Club Class members, you are invited to wait for your disembarkation time in the Vista Lounge, Deck 7 aft. Please present your medallion at the entrance, open from 7 to 10 a.m. I uh, And then on the back, you'll see they give you tags that you put on your luggage, and you have to set your luggage out the night before you disembark, y'all. So that's information that you need to kind of tuck away so that you know that you need to save out an outfit when you're packing you have to save out an outfit for the next day. You have to save out whatever cosmetics you want, whatever you're going to need in the morning, medications and so on. Whatever you're going to need in the morning of disembarkation, you need to save out of your luggage. What I did is I saved one cube out and then I put my, my night clothes in the next morning. When I packed up, I saved what, my cosmetics out and I was sure to have a Ziploc bag just in case I wasn't gonna have time to stick it back in my suitcase. But what I ended up having time to do was, and then I had my backpack, you know. I, so I packed up my cube, which was had my night clothes in it, and I packed up my cosmetic bag. Uh, and that had, uh, I had even bought like a spray bottle of 
of hairspray because you're not allowed aerosols on the plane. I bought like a Tresemme little bottle and I had that that morning and put all of that in my backpack and lugged that thing. That was pretty heavy, I have to say, because I didn't have any help. You know, I did this all by myself. I didn't have Chris to help me. So I needed to be able to do this myself. I needed to be able to manage everything by myself. So I did manage to get it to the Vista Lounge there. And then uh, we were, we left the Vista Lounge at, I had to be in the Vista Lounge by 8.25. I was there by before, pardon me, before 8. Um, or, excuse me. They were going to call my red three is the is what I had. You can see I have it circled there. Red three. It was the number of my tag. And that was the number where they, they had all of the uh, suitcases lined up in the cruise port for red three. And it was like... Uh, Silver one, silver two, silver three, aqua one, aqua two, aqua three, navy one, navy two, colors, you know. Mine was red, one, two, and mine was three. So, got my red three called, get up with the horde of people who were all red threes and march out down the promenade deck and down the gangplank and you uh, run your your medallion one more time. Every time you get on or off the ship to you use your medallion, you know, use your medallion for everything. Your medallion is like having money in your hand or a key in your hand or whatever you want in your hand, you know, and you run your medallion one more time or hold it up to their little thing one more time. And then that medallion's done, which means that cruise is done. And I walked out into the cruise port and you're directed or cruise terminal and you're directed to where your luggage is and I walked over found my suitcase my one suitcase right away was able to open up my backpack and I had left room purposely in my suitcase I'd left a spot in my suitcase and I would put the you know the straps over it so that it held everything in place so I had a nice neat little spot that I could stick that cube in and I could stick that uh, cosmetic case in buddy boy howdy I was ready to go I put that stuff in my suitcase zipped it up put my backpack on the telescoping arm and away I went bing bang bong I was done and my backpack was light as a feather all I had was my uh, whatever cords I had I had a tube of lipstick I had my little red purse you know my little bright purse I had that and I had uh, my, I had my easy as pie crossword puzzle book and my computer and it was light as a feather and I didn't have any trouble carrying it through the airports and so on. Uh, so I carried my, or you know, went right to customs then, went to the custom border patrol, I should say, and walked up, had to show my passport to the border control, patrol guy who told me that his son's name was A-R-L-I-N and we had a big old conversation. He didn't ask me one question, y'all. I'd also checked in for my flight on my phone through the United app, so I was all ready to go in that respect, too. But anyway, I went straight through, you know, no problems getting through customs, you know, at all. They did not look at my bag. I uh, then went and got on a bus. They took my suitcase, got on the bus, went to the airport, which was a harrowing experience when you're running around LAX. That was one of the <laughs> scariest things ever. I was sitting on the bus and I could look down and I'm telling you the cars next to the bus were about that close. Enough room for their side mirrors, you know, it was just crazy people blowing horns, moving in and out in front of the bus. And behind, I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad I'm not driving this bus. Nerves of steel, these bus drivers. So, got off the bus driver, gave the bus driver a tip. Also, speaking of tips, I also tipped my steward uh, for the week. I also tipped the waiter in our uh, dining room, gave him a tip for the week. You know, give a little extra if you have it, you guys. Give a little extra for those who go over and above, you know. These folks are on these ships for months at a time. Their contracts are usually six to nine months. They don't see their family. They send their paychecks home to their families, you know? So, but anyway, I gave the bus driver wasn't that, that he didn't work on the ship, you know, of course. Uh, but I gave him a little tip and off I went into the airport and I was, you know, at my gate within 10 minutes. I went breeze through security again. I do have global entry. I will say that, but I didn't need it for there. I just zipped right through. I do have TSA pre-check, uh, you know, so I went to the TA, TSA pre-check, which means I didn't have to take my computer out. I didn't have to take my shoes off. Very worth 
your time and effort to get TSA PreCheck. I'll put a link in the description. If you don't know what that is, read up on it. Educate yourselves. Global entry, read up on it. Educate yourselves. Honestly, you guys, it's worth it. It's worth the time and a little bit of money to do both things if you're going to be traveling internationally for global entry. But for TSA PreCheck for domestic flights and whatnot, it's worth it. It's worth it that you don't have to stand there and go through those security lines, you know, and take your shoes off, take your computers out, your iPads, whatever, you know, take every piece of jewelry you own off and da 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 da, da. You know, it's, it's so much easier, so much easier and well worth it. Uh, I can't think, I know this has been a, a bit of a bing bang bong video here. I've said that about three times in this video. That must be my word of the day. My word phrase of the day, bing bang bong. I'm a little tired. I'm a little loopy, so I'm sorry. Uh, moving forward here, I have uh, a room tour to put up, but I'll put that up real quick in a day or so or whatever, tomorrow, whatever. I don't know, whenever I get it edited. Uh, my stateroom tour, I'll have that put up on both my Country Craft Corner channel and my Travels channel. My Travels channel, you guys, I probably uh, will go a little bit quiet on there for a while. Uh, my next cruise is next year, and um, but then it'll start ramping up again. Uh, you know, as we we're going to be heading to be heading to uh, Australia and New Zealand, you guys. So I'll be looking for that on my Arlen's Travels channels on my Arlen's Country Craft Corner channel. For those of you on my travels who are interested in any kind of crafting or decorating, I'm getting ready to start my Christmas decor series. Uh, whenever I gather and muster some energy here, <laughs> I am gonna start in on that. I am a crafter, I am a decorator. I love, that's my passion, y'all. Other than travel, that's my other passion, so. I invite you over there, take a peek and subscribe if you want over there. For those of on my Country Craft Corner, you're welcome to subscribe on my channel. One day I'd like to, you know, uh, maybe not cross post, you know. So feel free, please. Uh, if you do happen to subscribe on either channel, do hit the uh, bell, please, so you're always uh, you know, notified as to when I put up a video. But as I mentioned on my Country Craft Corner channel, I will be starting in on my uh, my Christmas decor here. I don't know whether I'll get anything up this week. I may by Friday. I'm not sure though. Uh, don't hold me to it, you guys. <laughs> but I am going to try to get started. And first thing I'm going to be working on, working with is Bella's beautiful lantern that showed up sitting here looking at it that showed up let me see if i can grab it right after i left chris sent me a picture of it let me get, grab it for you and show it it yeah. is beautiful look so this is the very first thing i'm going to be working with you guys i'm going to make a i think i'm going to make a an, an arrangement for my island utilizing everything i used in my three-tiered tray last year so this will be first up not sure when I need to, uh, Chris and I need to get down and take out my Christmas bins and get them lined up. I need to tell him which ones I need. And uh, it, it's a little, I have a little bit to do here. I need to recover a couple of days too, y'all. As you can see, I'm kind of tired. I'm looking a little haggard. <laughs> so, but anyway, let me go into some final words here. Thank y'all for stopping in here. If y'all ever have any questions about my cruises, about travel, about the medallion, you know, ask me in a comment or, you know, email me always. You're always free to email me and I will try to get back to you and answer your questions, you know? Uh, thank you guys so much, uh, by the way, for all of your sweet comments on all of my videos while I was gone. I could not answer you back. I was busily about on board the ship and I just, honest to goodness, didn't have time, but I did read everything, everything, and once you saw my heart show up, and as always moving forward, if I'm not able to comment back, I will always read and always give you that heart, and when you see that heart show up, you'll know that I've read your comment. So thank you all so much for stopping in here. Thank you for those comments. I took them all to my heart. I will take all future ones to my heart. I appreciate every single one of you. I could not do what I do without y'all. I couldn't. So with all that said, thank you all for stopping in to, to watch this a bit of a discombobulated mess. <laughs> 
and I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope you don't have anything weighing on your mind or your heart, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. I can go. It's got a gorgeous old watch. That is the Holland America Eurodam, I 